Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Very latest on Hurricane Florence. Yeah, looking at this, just an absolutely amazing looking visible satellite imagery coming from the GOES-16 satellite looking right down into the middle of Hurricane Florence. That eye about 30 miles in diameter right now. Hurricane Hunter has been flying uh, in and out of the system all throughout the overnight hours early this morning once again. What they're finding is it really has not changed that much. Still has somewhat of a ragged eye structure from time to time, but those winds holding between about 130 to 140 miles an hour. You're going to see that in these very intense storms. They don't maintain that exact intensity. They will tend to fluctuate, but still the, the forecast reasoning, at least in the short term, remains the same. Now we are starting to see some changes in that forecast track. We were talking about that yesterday. We were starting to see those signs in the computer models that it was going to be slowing down as it worked its way towards the coastline. And any time you have one of these systems that is losing its steering currents, bad and unexpected things start to happen with these systems. And that looks like what we are going to see with Florence. As it nears the coastline, it slows down and then it starts to take those little turns. Right now, 29.871.3 top winds right now are at 130 miles an hour. It's moving to the northwest at 15. So you can see the beginning part of the track basically the same we've been seeing for days now. Then you see as we get into Friday, heading into Saturday, yeah, that's where we get that uh, shift more towards the south. Now remember yesterday, we were seeing all along the Carolina coastline, even though it was starting to look more and more like this would be a landfall across North Carolina, all along the Carolina coastline was still in that cone. You have to watch the entire area because you quite likely will see some shifts here and there. That's exactly what we're seeing, that shift down to the south. The problem with this is it stays out over water. It starts to, it keeps that intensity going. It also spreads the problem over a larger area. We've got the huge storm surge along the Carolina coastline, the damaging winds which will continue to shift down towards the south and then as it moves on shore more of the heavy heavy rain. Rainfall total still between about 20 to 30 inches along some of these coastal areas as we go through the next several days. So there you see that storm surge up into the sounds of North Carolina but notice it's even greater as you head down further to the south compared to what we had yesterday because we're shifting everything down to the south. So over towards Wilmington, you are now looking more like that 12 to 15 foot surge. The other problem with this is you're surging all this water in on top of all the heavy rainfall that we're getting, 10, 15, 20, 25 inches of rain. Normally you'll be draining down into these rivers well, with that surge, it just doesn't allow for any of this water to drain. So everything just continues to pile up. That is another reason we are going to see a huge amount of inland flooding with this as we go through the next several days. There you see the computer models right as they get to the coastline. That's where you see that deviation and more and more of these models coming into line with that thought process of it shifting down towards the south and becoming a much bigger issue for South Carolina than what we've been seeing over the past couple of days. And the European, this is the ensemble, so we're running that model over and over, just changing just slight variations in the initial conditions. And what you're seeing there, again, that same idea, shifting down towards the south, uh, down along the Carolina coastline. So rainfall totals, because we are changing the motion of this, we're moving these numbers around. Again, don't focus on exact numbers, but the areas with a forecast track like this, who could be seeing some of the heaviest rain? Notice it's mainly along the coastal areas and shifting down into South Carolina as well. Now, if this track changes again, we'll obviously be shifting some of these numbers as well. So we'll keep you updated on that. Now, other than that, we've got Isaac that is going to be working its way into the Caribbean. That will continue to weaken as we go through the next several days. So that, at this point, is not a big concern. All eyes will remain on Florence as it heads towards the Carolina coastline. We'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.